and my family. Okay, so today uh, let's help you crack your CA exams with us, that is an academy. You know, CA foundation courses may bohat sare subjects hote hain. So let me give you a quick brief introduction about what we are going to do today. But before that, let me introduce myself. Hi, I am Nikita Mehta and I work as an educator for this amazing app called Unacademy. Okay, so it is one of the best online platforms providing superb education. You know, they have such a structured way of presenting things, you know, you, they give you this classroom feel. Okay, so before we get into that, let me just tell you what we are going to discuss today in our today's class. We are going to discuss the paper number four, that is business economics and business commercial knowledge. Okay, so under that, what are we going to study today is the nature and scope of business economics. And there are certain central problems that are, you know, very specific or basic to every single economy in the world. Okay. Now, uh, what you will get when you use this particular app called Unacademy, you get daily live classes. So, tumhe jo bhi doubts hai, you know, on the live chat box, you can ask your educators or your teachers. Uh, the minute you have a doubt, you can ask and your doubts are sorted. Okay. And then we have, stru we have structured courses available with us in the sense that jo tumhara course plan hai, whatever is being prescribed by ICAI, we follow that exact pattern and we have a very different way of teaching things, you know, making or breaking down things and making it easy for you. And we have live tests and quizzes that happen very frequently once the chapter is done or whenever, you know, we feel that, yes, uh, this topic needs a lot of importance or this has a lot of weightage in exams, not only exams, but also in, um, you know, general life, it will help you in boosting your skills. So we have a lot of uh, live tests, quizzes, mock tests, etc. that will be given to you. And uh, there is unlimited access. Guys, considering the situation that we all are in right, right now, the COVID-19 pandemic, situation you know it's better to stay at home right so aapke ghar ke ease say you can uh, connect to this particular application whatever exam you wish to solve especially like see it CA foundation, it becomes very easy for you to access it. Now how do you access this particular uh, course for this course right so the, it's it's very simple guys a free ha free application here it's called unacademy learning app you download it from your iStore or your app store okay android pay you have your play store and all you need to do is after downloading you have to just subscribe okay you have to just subscribe either for three months six months 12 months or 24 months now i tell you ki you know usually jo hamare students prefer karte hai wo ya to 12 months ka hota hai ya 24 months ka hota hai now why do they choose uh, 12 months ya 24 months especially 24 months ko zyada weightage kyu dete hai because guys if you look at the screen the difference between your 24 month subscription and your 12 month subscription is just the difference of your first month jo aap ek mahine ke liye subscribe karenge 12 months or 24 months ke subscription mein sirf wahi difference hai. So you know it is always better to choose a 24 month subscription. And the best part because you're a student you get a discount. Now how do you get a discount? On the screen there is a red flashy code right NMUS. So you put that code in the referral box you type it out and you then you proceed to pay. So this code will give you a 10% guaranteed discount when you subscribe for your CA foundation and intermediate subscription okay so now let's begin uh, so let me give you a brief introduction about what really business economics and business commercial knowledge is and then we will get into the topic for our uh, for the day so business commercial uh, business economics and business commercial knowledge aapka paper number four hai ye objective paper hai matlab mcq paper hai to iski scheme kya hai ye 100 marks ka paper hai isme se business economics 60 marks hai and business commercial knowledge 40 marks ka hai, hai? Aur isme negative marking hoti hai. Paper number 3 or paper number 4 mein negative marking hai. So 0.25 marks for every wrong answer that you give. So agar aapne 4 galat answers diye hai, you will lose 1 complete mark. Okay, so it, it looks like, you know, aray, ek mark hi to hai. No, but that 1 mark makes a lot of difference when it adds up to your aggregate. Okay, so don't worry, it's not that difficult because we are here to help you out, right? So let's begin with our... Uh, introduction and what really was the uh, origin of business economics. Okay, economics generally, uh, OQOs, Nomia, 
एक ग्रीक वर्ड था उस नाम से ओरिजिनेट हुआ था अप टिल द सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी इट डिड नॉट हैव अ सेपरेट आइडेंटिटी विद द एफर्ट्स ऑफ दिस इकोनॉमिस्ट फ्रॉम स्कॉटलैंड हिज नेम वॉज एडम स्मिथ इन दर सेवनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स इन्होंने एक बुक लिखी आफ्टर इयर्स ऑफ रिसर्च He wrote a book, the best book by far, um, an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nations. Abbreviate किया जाए तो it is usually known as wealth of nations. ठीक है. So it basically, uh, you know, economics means household ma- management. But आज के जमाने में it is uh, evolved over a span of you know at least say ten, thirty, forty, fifty decades in fact. And uh, today it is. it helps this particular subject which has you know now been announced as the queen of social science because it is so practically applicable abhi practical applicability kya hoti hai matlab jab abhi hamare life mein day to day mein bahut problems hote hai right to hum hamare paas problems ke liye solutions bhi bahut hote hai but hum wahi solution choose karte hain jo practically best hai matlab jo hame lage ki ha matlab इस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम के लिए ये भी सही है ये भी सही है ये भी सही है बट उन तीनों में से जो बेस्ट है दैट इज व्हाट द बेस्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू चूज फॉर आर प्रॉब्लम्स सो इकोनॉमिक्स हेल्प्स अस इन चूजिंग द बेस्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रैक्टिकली ठीक है इट इज आल्सो रिसीव द नोबल प्राइज नाउ देर कम्स दी दीज टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट इज चॉइस मेकिंग एंड स्केरसिटी सो स्केरसिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेज इज नथिंग बट लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज और हम एज एंड वी एज ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव वेरी अनलिमिटेड वॉन्ट्स राइट वी वॉन्ट दिस वी वॉन्ट दैट वी सम ऑफ इज वॉन्ट अ लैविश लाइफ स्टाइल सम ऑफ इज वॉन्ट अ सिंपल लाइफ स्टाइल सम ऑफ दैम वॉन्ट ओनली बेसिक नेसेसिटीज नाउ नीड्स इज नथिंग बट योर बेसिक नेसेसिटीज तो बेसिक नेसेसिटीज में क्या आता है रोटी कपड़ा मकान या फूड शेल्टर क्लोदिंग एज वी कॉल इट नाउ वॉन्ट्स वुड बी वॉट I want to wear, you know, little um, up top clothes. I want a nice car. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to ride on a bicycle, but I want a car. And a desire would be when you know I want to live in a bungalow which has about uh, say ten to fifteen rooms, and I need to have some uh, five six maids with me. I need to buy a car that is you know not below say fifty lakhs. and uh, i need to wear branded clothes so that becomes my desire which is not a necessity to so, ab hum is desire ko kaise fulfill kare karenge with the help of limited resources that we have so there comes the um, option of making choices theek hai so we as human beings need to transform our uh, needs wants desires that is nothing but the goods and services that are available in the market how are we going to you know divide it or distribute it among ourselves so when i talk about ourselves i'm not just talking about you or me as individuals but you me individual individual firms industries society at large country at large and guys the world as a whole so when we talk about ourselves distributing these resources among the entire population on earth to get complete satisfaction so these two things play or these two factors play a very important and a vital role in deciding what kind of solutions we are going to choose for our problems ओके सो यू नो अगेन इट लीड्स अस टू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स कि हम हमारे रिसोर्सेज कैसे अलोकेट करेंगे इनकम uh, कैसे आएगी हम हमारे सेविंग्स कैसे करेंगे क्या हमें इन्वेस्टमेंट करना चाहिए व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड शुड वी फॉलो शुड वी गिव देम यू नो गुड क्वालिटी बट लेस क्वान्टिटी वॉट शुड बी आर प्राइजेज हाउ डू वी रिड्यूज दैट रिच पुअर डिफरेंस एक्सेट्रा सो इकोनॉमिक्स हेल्प्स अस helps us as in helps the nation to deal with this particular problem that is allocation of resources but along with that it also helps in uh, increasing the productivity of a single firm agar ek firm hai market mein exist kar rahi hai to how is that firm going to exist for a longer period of time how is it going to survive right so how the productive capacity can be increased with the help of certain tools techniques that are available to the managers okay Now, uh, so evolution, जैसे मैंने कहा कि ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इकोनॉमिक्स हैज इवॉल्व सो नाउ इट इज नोन एज द साइंस इट इज नोन एज यू नो इट इज इट इज अट हैज अ बैकग्राउंड ऑफ साइंस बिकॉज देर इज अ कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप देर इज एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन हैपनिंग एंड देर आर सोल्यूशन दैट आर कमिंग आउट राइट देन सोशल साइंस हम इसे बोलते हैं बिकॉज इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ सोशल साइंस बिकॉज इट डील्स विद सोसाइटी एंड देर आर सोल्यूशन विच आर साइंटिफिकली और सिस्टमैटिकली प्रूव देन इट इज एन आर्ट बिकॉज इट हैज दी 
up it it helps in application of these certain economic theories and also it adopts its uh, disciplines from mathematics statistics so we tell that economics in general is interdisciplinary in nature so uh, today's date economics is a subject which helps in rational allocation of resources it helps in exploitation of new resources using those resources or utilizing those resources to the maximum for getting a maximum output and creating an environment which is beneficial or which helps in the welfare of the entire economy okay so simply if we, if we if we are talking in a basic terms economics can be divided into two positive and normative which we have discussed in my previous session okay so um aaj hum deal karenge more into um the business economics ka nature scope and kya problems hoti hai businesses mein to aur un problems ko kaise solve kiya ja sakta hai theek hai so um it provides certain uh, frameworks certain blueprints certain tools strategies which business firms can use and they can also use these strategies in order to help the customers okay now um so business economics so what is business economics all about so business economics is a platform or a subject which you know helps in creating a bridge between the economic theories and the actual business problems jo real life mein business problems hoti hai un problems ko hum kaise solve kare ya managers unhe kaise solve karenge it talks about those things okay now uh, business management मतलब बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट व्हाट इज बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू यू आई मीन जस्ट क्रिएट अ सेंटेंस विद फॉर योरसेल्फ ओके नाउ जब एक मैनेजर अपने बिजनेस को मैनेज करता है विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रॉपर टूल्स टेक्निक्स एंड दिस लिस्ट ऑफ थियोरीज लॉज प्रिंसिपल्स कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सेट्रा इफ ही यूजेज दैम एट द राइट टाइम you know फॉर मेकिंग द राइट काइंड ऑफ डिसीशन नाउ डिसीशन मेकिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट practically difficult jobs right if it is an individual just say if we need to decide what we need to do today or how we need to plan a budget for ourselves it, it's very easy because we're just dealing with ourselves right but when it comes to business firms it is not that easy as it seems because there is a there are a lot of minds at work there are a lot of strategies there are a lot of um सोल्यूशन आई मीन देर आर लॉट ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव गिवन फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम बट उन पूल ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव में सिर्फ एक स्ट्रैटेजी या एक सोल्यूशन हम सेलेक्ट कर सकते हैं राइट सो बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स प्रोवाइडर्स विद दीज और यू नो एब्सट्रैक्ट थियोरीज विच कैन बी यूज फॉर सॉल्विंग बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम ठीक है ना डेफिनेशन इट इज सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रीड आउट वन डेफिनेशन फॉर यू स्पेंसर एंड सीगलमैन डिफाइंस बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स is the use of economic modes of thought to analyze business situations right to jo humne just discuss kiya ki economics bahut sare tools provide karta hai techniques provide karta hai methods provide karta hai which can be used to analyze real life problems jo business mein ya firm mein day to day operational basis par hoti hai all right so now let's get to our topic for today that is nature of business economics so it is basically divided into two parts microeconomics and macroeconomics so the subject matter of economics is all about microeconomics and macroeconomics to so, micro yani small it was uh, derived from a greek word that is uh, known as micros and uh, they it is a very microscopic theory because you know har ek यूनिट को इकोनॉमिक के एक एक यूनिट को हम डिवाइड करते हैं एवरी यूनिट इज डिवाइडेड एंड ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल यूनिट इज स्टडीड इन डिटेल इट इज रिसर्च इन डिटेल राइट सो दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज यू नो इट गिव्स अ वर्म्स आई व्यू टू दी इकोनॉमिस्ट या मैनेजर्स इन दी फर्म ठीक है देन इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन यू नो वॉट इट बेसिकली स्टडीज इज वॉट इट टॉक्स अबाउट योर एंड एग्जाम्पल्स में जैसे हम बात कर सकते हैं वी यू नो एग्जाम्पल्स कुड बी स्टडिंग अबाउट हाउ देर वॉज अ लॉक आउट ऑफ यू नो ही अनाउंस किंग फिशर एयरलाइंस अनाउंस अ लॉक आउट सो स्टडिंग अबाउट दैट वुड बी यू नो समथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स देन प्रॉबेबली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ डी मोनिटाइजेशन ऑल्सो लेड टू अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस इन दी बिजनेसिस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन वी टॉक अबाउट माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स तो मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एक ग्रीक वर्ड है 
which is derived from i mean it is known as macros which means large okay huge in the sense that economy ya nation at large okay so it does not deal with one single person like how microeconomics talks about you know the second point economic behavior of an individual firm industry uh, or an individual consumer as such but macroeconomics doesn't talk about that it talks about the overall performance or overall welfare of an economy on a larger scale okay so it is known as lumping method because yahan par slicing nahi hota hai units are not divided into smaller parts okay now it gives a telescopic theory jaise micro microeconomics mein it is known as microscopic theory because every unit is divided and it is studied or scanned in you know every bit and bit uh, every bit and piece is scanned but in macroeconomics whatever we are going to study is not it's it's about a nation right so you cannot divide a nation's every single um, unit and study it because it will take a lot of time and that is why this particular uh, subject matter is a lot is very time consuming okay it is very useful for policy makers because nation at large a policy scon banata hai we have certain policy makers probably the government you know there are a, um, there is a cabinet of ministers who make certain policies that are needed for that particular department like you have foreign policies you have fiscal policies you have monetary policies theek hai to in log ke liye ye beneficial hota hai kyunki nation ke liye jo best hai it suggests such kind of tools and techniques to the policy makers it is realistic because unlike microeconomics it does not make assumptions now assumptions kis tarah ke hote hain okay so let me give you an example jaise law of demand ke bare mein jab hum aage classes mein padhenge law of demand basically tells you know in order to prove a law you always need to make certain hypotheses ya assumptions theek hai to one of the assumptions which law of demand makes is that the taste and preferences of a consumer are constant the taste and preferences of consumers are constant yani hamare taste jo hote hain matlab whatever things we like to eat or whatever we like to wear will never change so in practicality is that possible not really right so ye cheez uh, that is what macro economics uh, you know helps in curbing down this limitation it is a, a research that is done at large in the sense ek samay pe at one single go a research is done a problem is identified and a solution is uh, brought about okay now what macroeconomic studies about it studies about national income national output factor pricing factor pricing kya hota hai so factor pricing is nothing but basically when the when a firm or a economy has to allocate its resources in such a manner it needs to allocate the prices of these resources as well to hamare paas resources bahut scarce hote hain like there might be some resources which are abundant but over a period of time even they start you know they start becoming non renewable matlab they are not they become perishable so factor pricing is basically a concept where the economists in the country have to bring out a basically you know um policies or create a system pricing theory for particular resource for example um labor le lete okay one of the factors of production is labor so let's talk about labor so when we talk about labor labors can be unskilled semi skilled and skilled labor to so, the the policy makers tell us that you know uh, the price that the base price that every labor has to get or you know will receive on day to day basis will be fixed the base price matlab socho ki hai na every day a unskilled labor must be paid 100 rupees as the base price uske upar whatever you want to give is up to you and say probably semi skilled labor hai to semi skilled labor because he has he has certain amount of skills he has to be paid say probably you know at least um 500 rupees per day and jo skilled labor hai because he has all of these analytical skills communication skills like for example managers hai ceos hai all of these people have a lot of skills right cs jab tum banoge you will also you know you will also boast about a lot of skills so you people will be known as skilled labor or a skilled professional okay so you when you actually uh, you know bring about 
changes eventually when you start becoming CAs, you probably will end up becoming policy makers if you really understand this subject and how economics actually plays a role in our day to day lives. Okay. Now, general price level and interest rates be set karne ke liye, it provides macroeconomics provides a lot of theories. Then balance of trade, balance of payments. जब हम बात करते हैं imports की, exports की, जहाँ पर हमारा deficit है या हम surplus में हैं, right? All of that. Then the overall level of savings and investment. Guys, we know that saving करना बहुत important है, but at the same time investment करना एक smart option है. तो how are we going to balance those two things? Is what you know probably it gives us certain tools to assess you know like you know हमने अगर investment किया है तो हमारा return क्या होगा तो it gives us ROI return on investment का एक ratio होता है that you know that helps us to actually determine what will be our return हमें कितने सालों में return मिलेगी interest rates क्या होंगे so all of that then the level of employment rate and rate of economic growth जैसे हर एक country में every country wants to grow right how is it going to grow it's not just employment it relates to social growth, cultural growth, technological growth, politically bhi grow hona padta hai. You have to be more open-minded and open to, you know, other nations coming and giving you advices or trying to merge with you. Foreign investments hote hai, right? So, all of that. Agar hum examples ki baat karte hai, we also, in this we can talk about the, you know, how economists study about the per capita income of a country ya national income, national output ke baare mein padte hai, all of that, okay? Then, so today we would be also talking about what really is the nature. मतलब business economics का क्या ऐसा feature है जो उसे makes it better than the traditional economics, right? And I hope you remember that business economics को हम managerial economics भी बोलते हैं और applied economics भी बोलते हैं. Okay, so now business economics enables the application of economic logic. And analytical tools to bridge the gap between theory and practice. So economy at large, मतलब अगर हम reality की बात करें, because we are talking about nation at large, right? So in this case, जब हम economy की बात करते हैं, business economics सिर्फ एक particular individual के नहीं है, individual के लिए नहीं है, but it is also available to a lot of bigger industries, like a pool of industries. Okay, so when we talk about that. We talk about how in real world every single activity of economic entities is interdependent on each other. For example, uh, say there is a manufacturer XYZ. He is the only manufacturer in the entire economy who produces that particular commodity. Now there are a lot of wholesalers, retailers, suppliers, buyers who will purchase that particular product from that particular manufacturer. Now, the manufacturer decides that, you know, he changes his purchase policies. Ki, dekho yaar, ab mujhe thoda profit kamana hai. To, ab, you know, this is the right time for me. Of course, he's not going to tell this to his retailers. This is just his thought process that, now he feels that this is the time for him to make profits, reduce his cost, productivity increase karna hai, demand ko badana hai. So he uh, releases out a uh, notice to his uh, wholesalers, his buyers that, you know, I am going to increase my, uh, uh, the, the rate of my product or my raw material and you have to purchase uh, and I will place or take order from you only when you give me a minimum order of so and so quantity. Okay. Now, just imagine the one activity that was changed by the manufacturer how it changed those activities or how it would lead to a change in the activities or operational activities of those wholesalers, retailers, suppliers, etc. Right. So, business economics is a such subject, a such discipline which helps in filling such gaps. Okay. So, now, the first feature that we are going to talk about is that business economics is a science. How is business economics a science? So, we know that science may cause and effect relationship ka bohat, uh, you know, everything is related to cause and effect. Only there was a problem, experiment kiya, effect dekha, conclusion aya, etc. Right? Likewise, even in business economics, uh, economics provides a lot of theories, 
विच आर अप्लाइड टू बिजनेस राइट सो एक सिस्टमैटिक अप्रोच है एक साइंटिफिकली प्रूवन अप्रोच है बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग सर्टन टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स विच हैव बीन ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजीज देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ मॉडल्स देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्ड एनालिसिस दैट आर अवेलेबल टू द मैनेजर्स टू यूज इट सिस्टमैटिकली टू मेक द राइट डिसीजन एट द राइट टाइम देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू नो मैनेजर्स माइट एंड अप यूजिंग रॉन्ग स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड यू नो दे माइट नॉट बी एबल टू ब्रिंग अप डिसीजन फॉर द पर्पज जो भी प्रॉब्लम है उसके लिए शायद वो राइट डिसीजन ना भी ला पाए बट अगेन देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ रेमेडियल टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स दैट आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल सो दैट इज वाई बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ साइंस बिकॉज इट यूज इज अ सिस्टमैटिक कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप procedure now we know that economics is divided into microeconomics and macroeconomics right to so, microeconomics kya baat karta hai it talks about a consumer it talks about an individual firm it talks about the various behaviors of firms various behaviors of consumers it talks about law of uh, demand law of supply right so it is based on the microeconomic theory in the sense ki ye har ek unit ya har ek economy ko छोटे छोटे यूनिट्स में डिवाइड करता है एंड इट स्टडीज और हेल्प्स टू स्टडी दो प्रॉब्लम इन डिटेल एंड ब्रिंग आउट द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन इट इनकॉपरेट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ माइक्रो एनालिसिस अरे अभी तो हमने जस्ट बोला कि माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स है नाउ हाउ सडनली कैन यू नो बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स बिकम ऑल्सो यूज माइक्रो एनालिसिस सी वन थिंग दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट बिजनेस आइसोलेशन में वर्क नहीं करता है बिजनेस एग्जिस्ट इन अ सर्टन एनवायरमेंट एंड वेन बिजनेस एग्जिस्ट इन एन एनवायरमेंट इट नीड्स टू एधर टू दी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ दोज एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट कैन बी इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट कैन बी एक्सटर्नल सो इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट जो है वो बहुत मैनेजेबल है इन द सेंस दैट वो कंट्रोल इट इज यूजली कंट्रोल्ड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट और द फर्म इट सेल्फ बट एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स राइट एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू यूज अ रेफरेंस फॉर दैट ओके सो एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स यूजली इंक्लूड अ लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक यू नो गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज होती है जनरल प्राइज लेवल्स होते हैं income and employment levels in the economy like how the income will be affected if we you know if the employment rate goes up or down you know if there is over employment what will happen in the economy what if there is under employment in the economy how is it going to affect the income levels how is that going to affect the saving and investment levels right it also talks about how uh, the price levels would affect industries how it would affect an economy right so all of this is connected to a business if there is any change in a government policy for example agar policy change hui like for example you remember that you know lpg the uh, lpg policy that had come out in the year 1991 how that changed the scenario in our country right so it also you know if businesses wouldn't have changed themselves now i'm sure they would not exist up till now jin businesses jin business ne adopt kiya hai changes ko only those businesses will be able to survive in the market so it is um, very clear that you know micro and macro need to work hand in hand and the manager especially the manager needs to have a lot of knowledge about these external factors matlab he should know that okay these are the external factors which actually exist in the market and considering these factors i need to work strategies for my business to survive okay now um next business economics is an art so business economics is an art because business economics helps in applying those policies those theories practically into business problems business problems are real world right har ek din we see a lot of problems that businesses face so art in the sense that applicability you need a art you need to have some kind of skill to use business economics right so use of theory of markets and private enterprises so there is something called as theory of markets so when we talk about theory of markets which is beneficial matlab there are a lot of markets which exist in the uh, economy for a business to function Ek, let me give you an example like you know probably monopoly market hai monopolistic market hai oligopoly market hai so in ek ek market ki different features hote hain there are certain advantages to it there are certain disadvantages to it now if i am a firm say probably i you know wish to open or start a new product or launch a new product into the market 
ठीक है तो जब मैं ये न्यू प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करती हूँ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू सी वॉट आई नीड टू सी हु माई कॉम्पिटिशन इज आई नीड टू सी अगर ये प्रोडक्ट इस रीजन में चलेगा या नहीं हु विल बी माई टारगेट मार्केट प्राइस कितना होगा क्वालिटी कैसी होगी क्वांटिटी कैसी होगी तो जब मैं ये मार्केट स्टडी करूंगी तब आई विल बी दैट इज द टाइम व्हेन आई विल यूज दिस थियोरी ऑफ मार्केट्स ओके सो दिस इज अ मार्केट थियोरी एंड व्हेन वी यूज दैट इन बिजनेस बिलीव मी इट हेल्प्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल टू नो वेदर देयर प्रोडक्ट विल एग्जिस्ट इन द मार्केट सर्वाइव इन द मार्केट और नॉट लाइक वाइज आर थियोरीज दैट आर अवेलेबल टू डेटमाइन prices even for private enterprises so you know how they are going to allocate their resources it creates like a backdrop for these private enterprises ki agar resource allocation barabar ho gaya so uh, so matlab their raw material is uh, fixed ki ha we are going to purchase this particular raw material from here we are going to convert this raw material into work in progress at this time then we are going to convert this raw this work in progress into a finished good and supply it to this particular market okay then a uh, pragmatic an approach in the sense that um we believe that you know a lot of abstract theories are available in the economic uh, world but real world mein jab managers isko use karte hain they are filling a gap correct so pragmatic approach hai business economics ki because it is helping to fill the gap of these abstract theories and using it into the practical real world problems then interdisciplinary in nature theek hai इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी जब हम बोलते हैं आई थिंक वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट फ्यू स्लाइड्स वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ इकोनॉमिक्स इज साइंस सोशल साइंस आर्ट राइट लाइक वाइज देर आर अ लॉट मोर डिसिप्लिन फ्रॉम विच इट टेक्स इज टेक्स इट्स डिसीशन मेकिंग पॉलिसीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैथमेटिक्स है स्टैटिस्टिक्स है इकोनॉमेट्रिक्स है यू हैव अकाउंटिंग यू हैव फिनांस यू हैव मार्केटिंग like you have operations theory you have management theory so it adopts these certain concepts from these various disciplines that are available it creates an altogether new strategy a new policy or you know a new discipline which is nothing but economics okay then it is normative in nature so economics simply is divided into what positive and normative to positive kya hai पॉजिटिव इज नथिंग बट पॉजिटिव साइंस या पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स इज नथिंग बट विच इज वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव इन नेचर राइट सिर्फ डिस्क्राइब कर रहा है कि वॉट इट इज इट इज नॉट टेलिंग इज वॉट इट शुड बी और वॉट शुड बी डन ओनली द प्रॉब्लम इज बींग स्टेटेड बट देर इज नो सोल्यूशन और सजेशन दैट इज बींग गिवन बट माइक माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक थियोरी में बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एक नॉर्मेटिव अप्रोच को यूज करता है सो नॉर्मेटिव अप्रोच इज नथिंग बट वेन वी नो वॉट इट इज but also we will be able to know what should be done what shouldn't be done how it should be done for whom it should be done right so these problems can be solved when we are using a normative or prescriptive approach to this particular uh, uh, solving of a problem in the business world okay so that's why business economics now now that we know you know how micro and macro is related because you cannot exist in isolation right so there has to be a integration of micro as well as ma- macro um, analysis a lot of tools and techniques in order to you know it combines the essentials of normative as well as positive economic theory the emphasis being on of course uh, normative than the positive approach also micro and macro analysis has to be integrated in order to bring out the best solutions from the least efficient alternatives okay now let's talk about scope of business economics when we talk about scope what do we really talk about matlab like, what is the meaning of scope of business economics it is very in if stated in simple terms scope is nothing but the applicability of economics in the business world okay so the applicability of business economics is widespread in the sense that it can be applied to a variety of regions a variety of economies and a variety of spaces in the sense that you know it could be uh, embedded in um, internal environments external environments so the first thing uh, basically it covers practical problems that a firm or a individual or a manager faces right i, I hope we are clear with that because every firm has a operational day to day level it might be the minutest problem but it 
has problems right there are risks associated to a particular uh, firm to a particular strategy but still as uh, we believe that you know one must go on no matter what the result will be right so an individual or a firm or a manager faces a lot of problems but there are a lot of things that can be applied to this particular problem in order to bring out the best solution so again the scope can be divided or the economic theories that can be used to solve these issues can be divided into two that is where microeconomics uses or applies its theories to operational or internal issues and macroeconomics applies its theories to the environmental ya external issues right so ye internal issues external issues kya hote hain every business works in an environment okay so environment and business go hand in hand so that is why the concept of a business environment right so these days whenever people are working in these uh, big fours or they are working in the you know it industry the first thing that they ask the employees sorry the um, candidates ask the hr that you know hr is nothing but a human resource manager so when a candidate asks ki uh, you know what is your business environment so the and this is mandatory for the hr to actually tell them ki see we follow such kind of environment so let me take the example of google okay a big company right so um this company has very strict rules when it comes to working hours and you know you have to complete your work on time but they have a very uh, open mindedness to the kind of dressing you have you can you know you can go in whatever clothes you're comfortable in but their main mission is what that our work has to be completed on time clear yeah, so that kind of business environment you know so it can be internal to the organization and it can be external to the organization so application of microeconomic theories into these operational level issues operational level issues is nothing but day to day issues so the first thing where microeconomics uh, theories can be applied is demand analysis and demand forecasting so demand kya hai demand is nothing but socho agar you go to a shop and you tell ki i want this i want this particular uh, packet of chips so you are demanding for something and when you are demanding for something what are you giving in exchange you are giving some kind of a payment right you are willing to pay ki matlab ha theek hai mujhe ye cheez chahiye of course i have to pay for it and do you have the ability to pay for it if yes then you are paying some amount of money right so demand is nothing but when i have a desire to buy something i have the willingness matlab mujhe ichcha honi chahiye no one should force me to buy something right so when i have the willingness to buy it and and i have the ability to actually purchase it then it becomes demand otherwise it just becomes a desire ki are mujhe ye cheez chahiye thi but i couldn't get it demand is when you wanted it and you got it okay so demand analysis kya hota hai so when we talk about demand analysis first of all we talk about how every market or every product has its demand and supply so the main market players or the market factors are demand and supply okay so demand ki jab hum baat karte hain agar um, soche for example the uh, it's a very i'm sure you would have heard of this case uh, maggi they said that you know maggi noodles has a lead content in it which is not good for us as human beings right so what did maggi do immediately it had to remove all of its products from the market and they had to you know probably destroy all the production of that particular uh, that production unit had would have had to be destroyed but eventually what did they come up with they come they came up with you know they come they came up with advertisements saying ki maggi was uh, you know it uh, these were just uh, hoax uh, advertisements or hoax uh, publicity rumors that you know we do not have lead in our uh, maggi and we we provide the most healthiest food they came up with aata maggi that you know this is very healthy and people should eat this all of that so they created a demand for their product again right so likewise every business firm has to analyze the demand before actually launching its product like you know if um, say two people wish to begin some particular startup and they want to uh, sell a product before they actually do this they have to do a market research ki hamara product they have to actually go and ask consumers ki see you know we are doing a survey what kind of product do you like do you like this juice or do you, would you like this flavor if it is infused infused with this juice they have to do such kind of research 
once they have done the research they have analyzed you know what kind of preferences consumers have how much they are willing to pay for that product what should be the price of the product that should be set by the firm that right? all of that has to be analyzed so demand analysis is one such thing which is not just beneficial for the present but also beneficial for the future now how is it beneficial for the future demand forecasting forecasting ka matlab kya hota hai planning ahead planning for the future right so jab hum future ke liye plan karte hain even on day to day basis we plan for our future for example aaj main kya padhai karungi ya you know what what will be my time table during my exams or you know how am i going to study how am i going to revise things so we are creating a plan right so imagine ye to business hai ye ek economy hai so without demand forecasting without forecasting your uh, products demand you cannot exist in a market okay that is the basic principle that more than demand analysis demand forecasting is important to know how long your product is going to survive in the market ठीक है तो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ अ मैनेजर टू मेक श्योर दैट ही यूजेस डेटा नॉट ओनली ऑफ टुडे जैसे अगर एक प्रोडक्ट है एंड दैट प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन इनटू द मार्केट फॉर से अबाउट टेन इयर्स नाउ अब टेन इयर्स हो गया उस प्रोडक्ट को द मैनेजर फील्स दैट यू नो नाउ आई नीड टू ब्रिंग इन सम इनोवेशन इन टू प्रोडक्ट सो ही नीड्स टू एनालाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिमांड ऑफ इज करेंट प्रोडक्ट कि ये प्रोडक्ट चल रहा है कि नहीं ही नीड्स टू एनालाइज द प्रीवियस डेटा कि ये प्रोडक्ट पहले हाउ इज इट डूइंग इन द मार्केट वॉज इट यू नो एक्चुअली डूइंग गुड इन द मार्केट वो पीपल एक्चुअली बाइंग इट आर पीपल एक्चुअली बाइंग इट एंड विल दे बाई इट इन द फ्यूचर इफ आई मेक सर्टन चेंजेस राइट सो एवरी एवरी प्रोडक्ट एवरी प्रोडक्ट इन द सेंस एवरी गुड एंड एवरी सर्विस हैज टू गो थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ डिमांड एनालिसिस एंड डिमांड फोकस्टिंग ओके ना नेक्स्ट production and cost analysis when we talk about production and cost analysis we are th- talking about the input and output connectivity ki jo humne input diya hai into the production process okay say for example we need to uh, the the uh, particular product of our firm is a juice orange juice okay so what would be the input into the production process we would need uh, fresh oranges we would need uh, preservatives we would need water we might need sugar we might need a little bit of salt as well right so at least five raw materials on hand we know so jo so these raw materials become our input now what should be the output output should be the actual orange juice which has to be packed in a bottle it should be labeled it should be branded it should be packed properly right now the production the theory of production how it can be applied into business is that it helps us to analyze wh- how much input should we be putting in order to get this much output with minimum wastage correct so the main be- the main is what getting maximum output with minimum wastage right so production analysis aise concepts provide karta hai aise tools techniques provide karta hai which can be actually applied before starting the production process itself then what is cost analysis how can i apply cost analysis matlab economics now it is very important for you to remember that every business from the day its cost is low meaning you're doing good in the market and your profitability is increasing right so production and cost analysis helps the business in actually or helps the managers to ma- uh, maintain their production and cost cycles okay then inventory management what is inventory inventory is nothing but the stock the stock that a business keeps one thing that a business firm should always remember is that you know um every business has certain stock so they should not overstock they should not understock they should have a right balance of stock ki jisi requirements hai utna hi stock hona chahiye what happens if you have more stock you might end up creating dead stock what happens if you have dead stock you might end up doing clearance sales which will lead to a loss for you right so it helps in even managing your inventory then market structure and pricing policies again it helps in you know analyzing jo market mein kya structure chal raha hai filhal kya policies chal rahi hai uske accordingly uh, you know the every business has to 
mold itself then resource allocation one of the most vital concepts that you know every um, resource has to be allocated in the right manner because there is a choice making and there is a scarcity of resources so every resource from the start that is from raw material stage to finished product stage every resource must be allocated appropriately then theory of capital and investment decision this is a very long term decision right when you're buying capital like you know building hai machinery hai ya tum invest kar rahe ho so it provides you certain theories certain uh, laws you know if you invest so much on your capital what will be your return all of those analysis also can be done under this micro economic uh scope then profit analysis again profit is a very important part one of the most important objectives of micro uh, of any business so profit anal uh, analyze karne ke liye a lot of ratios are available profit ratio hai under that you have a lot of variety of solvency ratios inventory ratios etc right so it is very important to analyze ratios uh, sorry analyze your profit to cost benefit and then only go ahead with the product then risk and uncertainty analysis so jab hum risk ki baat karte hain there is no business which is risk free right so every business has risk every business will face some kind of uncertainty at some point of time for example uh, natural natural calamities hai that that is we cannot uh, you know be very certain ki nahi aaj hi barish aayega aaj hi flood aayega no right so there are certain risks which are unanticipated and certain uncertainties that are existing in the economy so considering all those as well uh, a lot of tools and techniques are available for any business to function then how is it available in the uh, i mean how macroeconomic Uh, theories help in solving external issues. External issues की जब हम बात करते हैं we talk about these various things. So I am going to put it across in a very short thing together because we will be studying this in detail. That is nothing but pestle. P E S T L E. That is your political analysis. अगर country का political system कैसा है based on that. Then social uh, sorry then economic analysis. Pestle में I am telling you P E P E P is your political. E is your economic background in the country. What kind of you know infrastructure exists? What kind of then you have S that is your social society. Me kya norms and uh, regulations hai? Kya cultural backgrounds hai logo ka? Is there a cosmopolitan crowd living? So how is the business going to function among all that? Then technological advancements like everyday technology is growing and everyday a consumer needs to. or a consumer or a buyer needs to update themselves in order to stay a put in the market right so it is very important that after your uh, political economical social technological you have your legal legal environment basically agar tum legal regularities jo hai tumhare country mein if you are not following that and you are running your business you are doing some illegal business what happens if it is discovered you're directly thrown into jail your business is being shut right so among all these pestle analysis it is very important that each and every of these aspects are have to be considered before you actually begin a functioning in the market ठीक है सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल दीज इश्यूज दैट एग्जिस्ट इन द मार्केट व्हाई डू दीज इश्यूज एग्जिस्ट इन द मार्केट एंड डू दे एग्जिस्ट ओनली इन द मार्केट और डू दे एग्जिस्ट इन एन इकोनॉमी ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस दैट सो वी कम टू अ कंक्लूजन दैट एवरी इकोनॉमी हैज सर्टेन बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच दे विल फेस एंड हाउ यू नो प्राइस प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन हेल्पिंग टू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स okay so even the smallest unit of an economy economy in the world i i like i told you that you know it is interdependent all the activities of all the economic uh, units are interdependent upon one another right so even the smallest unit in the economy will be affected by the scarcity of resources because wants unlimited hai products banane padte hain but again resources bahut kam hai correct so how are we going to allocate these resources into in a manner that you know limited resources ko how are we going to put them into alternative uses for example uh, let's take a product um, coal okay so coal ko hum bahut sari cheezon mein use kar sakte hain or you could use crude oil also in a lot of things you could use petrol right so how you can allocate one single resource like coal hai you can use it for burning fire you can use it to you know manufacture something uh, uh, some new product you can use it for 
a lot of variety of things right so if a resource has uh, alternative uses then it's very beneficial for the economy because renewability ka concept aata hai ya sustainability ka concept aata hai now the major four problems that actually occur in a uh, in a economy are what to produce how to produce for whom to produce and what provisions we will have to make for the economic growth so let's discuss the first one in detail what to produce this basically talks about in simple terms kis tarah ke goods ya services hame product uh, produce karne hain kitne units produce karne hain kiske liye produce karne hain theek hai कैपिटल गुड्स प्रोड्यूस करने हैं और शुड वी मैन्युफैक्चर कंज्यूमर गुड्स सो कंज्यूमर गुड्स यू नो आर नथिंग बट दोज गुड्स विच आर कंज्यूम डायरेक्टली बाय दी कंज्यूमर्स कैपिटल गुड्स आर नथिंग बट विच आर यूज फॉर फर्दर प्रोडक्शन फॉर एग्जांपल यू नो योर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अ मशीनरी योर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग पार्ट ऑफ अ कार योर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग पार्ट ऑफ अ मशीनरी ओके देन वेदर यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस दोज और वेदर यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस कंज्यूमर गुड्स विच विल गिव यू मोर बेनिफिट इन दी लॉन्ग रन और विच विल गिव यू मोर इनकम फॉर दी इकोनॉमी देन ड्यूरेबल गुड्स प्रोड्यूस करना है विच लॉन्ग विच यू नो लास्ट लॉन्ग इन दी मार्केट और डू यू और डू यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस पेरिशेबल गुड्स विच विल नॉट एग्जिस्ट फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लाइक यू नो इफ इट इज कंज्यूम्ड और ओपन वंस लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मिल्क right it is a perishable commodity once you open the packet you have to use that otherwise it might just end up becoming bad right then should we produce quality products or should we give more quantity in certain products more quantity is required but in certain products more quality is except uh, expected by the consumers right how much to produce for consumption kis tarah ka product jis tarah ka product hum produce kar rahe hain how much should we actually produce you know how much should we produce for consumption how much should we stock how much should we you know wait and you know uh, create a demand and supply effect all of these factors come into picture when we talk about what to produce and this happens only because there is a scarcity of resources agar world mein scarcity hi nahi hoti we would not have this particular problem of making a choice right then the next thing that we talk about is how we are going to produce a particular commodity then how we are going to produce a particular commodity basically talks about various techniques of producing these particular products that we just or particular goods that we just discussed there are two techniques that is labor intensive and capital intensive labor intensive is basically what using more manpower than capital in intensive ya machine techniques whereas capital intensive is nothing but where you are using more of मशीन वर्क रैदर दैन लेबर वर्क और मैनुअल वर्क ओके सो एग्जाम्पल जब हम बोलते हैं से प्रॉबली यू नो इफ आई एम डूइंग एग्रीकल्चर आई माइट नीड मोर लेबर एज कम्पेयर टू मशीन आई विल नीड मशीन बट आई विल नीड मोर लेबर एज वेल देन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कैपिटल इंटेंसिव से आई एम इन टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ कार्स आई नीड मोर मशीन टू मैन्युफैक्चर कार्स एज कम्पेयर टू द लेबर दैट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू ऑपरेट दोज मशीन राइट सो दिस लीड्स एस टू थ्री मोर प्रॉब्लम इन द सेंस दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिसोर्स शुड वी यूज यू नो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ टेक्निक we have to use the resources then which technology has to be used if it is labor intensive you need to use more skill based technology if it is a uh, capital intensive uh, work then you have to use more machine based technology right and where are you going to produce it based on the locality of your product or based on the locality which you are choosing your products have to be produced accordingly now so this is just a uh, just in the sense that labor intensive means uh, use of more manpower in production with little technology and while capital intensive means use of more technology with little manpower in production okay then the third problem that we face is that for whom are we going to produce we live in a country which has a cosmo crowd correct and every cosmo crowd in the world will have different levels of income you have a uh, lower level income you have a uh, middle level income you have uh, upper level income upper middle income then you have rich people right so jab hum ye decide karte hai ki hame kya produce karna hai कहा कैसे प्रोड्यूस करना है अब ये होता है कि किसके लिए प्रोड्यूस करना है सो वंस यू डिसाइड योर टारगेट मार्केट यू नो यू के नॉट सेटिस्फाई एवरीबडीज वॉन्ट्स सो इफ योर प्रोडक्ट इज ऑन द हाई एंड इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट यूर टारगेटिंग हायर लेवल इनकम ग्रुप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यूर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ब्रेड और सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो बेकरी रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट मीनिंग योर टारगेटिंग अ मिड लेवल इनकम ग्रुप वेर एज इफ यूर प्रोड्यूसिंग से यू नो लेदर बैग्स 
uh, or you're producing say very expensive um, belts you are targeting or you're producing very expensive watches you are targeting a higher or the rich level income group people right so this uh, creates a certain uh, difference between the uh, rich and the poor but it cannot be avoided because every business in the market exists to create certain profits for itself right so this uh, triangle just talks about you know how uh, people are divided as deprived aspirers middle class and rich okay then um the next thing yes uh, so this is just a cartoon uh, that i felt was very apt for this particular uh, topic because you know there is a widening gap it is good that people are willing to earn profits they are providing products but at the same time if you eventually want to open up a firm make sure that this particular gap reduces and does not increase okay then what the fourth problem that uh, the fourth central problem that occurs is that what kind of provisions we need, need to create for a economic growth for in the near future so with the topic of sustainability comes into picture in the sense that jab hum sustainability ki baat karte hain we have to sustain in the world for a longer period of time it is not just for the present it is also for the future growth okay present growth is good definitely if there is a growth in the present future growth happens but if we are using up all the resources that we have only in the present we are not leaving anything for the future generations right so developing a nation today by creating reserves of fast for tomorrow is always good for any economy economy because sustainable development concept is existing in every economy in every developing economy in every developed economy okay jab natural resource matlab based on the nature of resources whether they are natural whether they are man made unko reuse kar sakte hain ya wo non renewable hote hain decisions have to be made accordingly to either use it in the present or preserve it for the future okay so this was just a very nice uh, picture uh, somebody came up with these one to uh, you know 18 goals sorry 1 to 17 goals of how sustainability can be achieved by every single individual firm or you know economy society so uh, if you could just read it out uh, for yourself you know i'll just give you about say 10 seconds been getting a lot of uh, yes thank you okay so uh, bhargav has a question what do you mean by uh, economics as science okay so economics as science is nothing but you know how um, uh, economics uses scientific or systematic approach in solving certain problems right so there is a cause and effect relationship if there is a problem there is always a solution available for it and economics helps businesses to get those solutions okay i hope your doubt is clear so now uh, quickly let's just get to you know solving a few mcqs today uh, so let's read the first one dash deals with problems uh, with the problem of allocation of resources okay so uh, quickly i'll give you about say, uh, allocate 15 seconds to yourself and let's see if you can get the right answer statistics is just a part or a, it is a discipline from which economics is adopted again macroeconomic theory talks about the nation at large ecometrics is again a discipline and microeconomic theory is what helps us with allocation of resources right then macro the next question 10th one the number 10 on your screen macroeconomics is also called as price theory income theory irrelevant theory or development theory okay price theory helps us in determining the various prices for a individual uh, individual firm and we are talking here about macroeconomics so macroeconomics deals with the nation at large and it deals with the income and employment opportunities in the country the national capita capita uh, of the country and of course the third option is really irrelevant <laughs> and uh, development theory no so your answer is Uh, b income theory the next one is um, from the national point of view which of the following indicates microeconomic approach microeconomic approaches 
microscopic theory slicing method so what really talks about that here i think uh, i gave out the answer to you during the course of this session as well i gave it to you as an example so i'm sure that makes it very easy for you now right okay so uh, the answer for this is yes lockout of uh, queen uh, kingfisher airlines that is we studied you know when you study about a particular individual firm that becomes a microscopic theory or a microscopic study then uh, the next one which of the following is covered in macroeconomics factor pricing national income and output location of industry study of firms okay so macroeconomics again talks about how we have we are talking about nation at large it is more realistic right so we are talking about something called as factor pricing which is the most basic uh thing that any policy maker or any economist has to do for the economy that is he needs to allocate or any manager he needs to allocate the price for the various resources so your answer for this is a factor pricing the next one dash uh, science is descriptive in nature come on this is like cake walk we have discussed this hoping to get some good answers yes yes i think two three people have got to try it okay yeah okay so the answer is yes it is a positive science is descriptive in nature because normative science is again prescriptive in nature okay then the next one when we specify that economics should not be concerned with whether the society should use its resources towards producing medicines or machine guns we consider economics as a dash science okay so basically i hope you're getting uh, the question it talks about how you know what it is what does positive and normative science talk about what it is what it should be what it should not be so here what you know is there a problem yes there is a problem that you know what kind of resource should be produced but are they giving a solution or they just stating a fact so understand that and uh, make an answer for yourself okay so basically the answer for this is positive because here it is a positive science because only the statement is being told there is no solution that has been provided for this particular um problem right so now uh, i'm sorry so with this we come to the end of our uh, uh, today's session so i hope uh, you know you have liked and understood everything what we discussed today and i'm hoping uh, that you know i'm helping you crack your ca foundation uh, business economics paper so please do like the video subscribe to our channel an academy let's crack ca exams you can use my code which is on your screen nmus in order to get a 10% discount on the app okay so thank you guys uh, so take a minute enjoy everything that is around you uh, be grateful for the things you have spread love spread knowledge until next time